In this video tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to configure manual data collection in DreamReport using the Web Manual Driver. The Web Manual Driver is a special driver in DreamReport which allows users to enter and save manual data points through the DreamReport web portal. Once the driver has been configured with the manual data points, you simply create a web report which is essentially a data entry form. You can submit data to be stored in the database, and data can even be corrected and validated by other users, which of course can be secured and audited. Once this data is recorded into the internal Dream Report database, you can report on this data along with other process data. In this example, we see the manual lab samples collected for today, and then a chart below showing the manual pH readings along with the tank temperatures being automatically logged in the process historian. The workflow for configuring the web manual driver for data entry is as follows. Open the Dream Report Studio and open or create a new reporting project. In the Communication Drivers wizard, open the Internal Drivers section and then create and configure an instance of the web manual driver. This is where you'll define the data items to be recorded. Create a new report and select the report format to be web. On this report, use web elements as the manual data entry or combo boxes to create the data entry form. Add a time picker object so that the user can select a specific time to be associated with the recorded data. For instance, the current time when the user is entering the data might be 8 a.m., but the sample might have actually been taken at 7.15 a.m., so that's the timestamp you'd want to use. Place an action button on the report to submit the values. Under the project settings or in the runtime management console, click the configure IIS button to configure the dream report web portal. Finally, run the project and then open the report on the web portal to enter and save the data. We'll now launch the dream report studio and open a project. In the Communication Configuration Wizard, I'll expand the Internal Drivers folder and then select and configure an instance of the Web Manual Driver. I'm going to add a mix of numeric and text data collection points. For the pH reading, I'm going to set a limit of 1 to 14 so that a user does not enter and save an out of range value later on. This list of manual data entry items can also be imported from a simple text file, which is useful if you have several of the data collection sets to create. Now that I've created and configured an instance of the web manual driver, we'll create a new report and give our report a name. The report file format is by default PDF, and so we'll change it to web. From the web elements toolbar, I can now start selecting objects for the report. First, I'll place a date and time picker on the report, which we'll use for the timestamp to associate with the manual samples. I'll name the object so that I can reference it later on. Next, I'll add a manual input object on the report. For the data item, I'll select External History Server and browse for the first item in my lab samples data source. Finally, for the date and time period, instead of using the current time for the sample, I'll reference the date time picker, which we named sample time. And that's it for the first item. I'll copy this manual input object and repeat the process for the pH reading. I'll select the pH item from the list and use the same sample time reference. And then copy and repeat for the parts per million reading as well. For the visual check entry, I don't want the users to have to type in a value, so I'll provide a combo box with pre-configured entries. I'll give the combo box a name, and then select manual values from the display data from selection. I'll provide five choices, so I'll add them in here. Just like with the manual input items, I need to select the manual data item to associate with this combo box and then select our sample time object for the sample's timestamp. 
let me add a few labels for the data entry fields and align all my objects. For the report header, I'll add a dynamic text object which will be the report name. Next, I return to the Web Elements toolbar and select an action button to place on the report. We'll use this button to submit the manually entered data to be saved. I'll now save and run the project. And when that's done, configure the Dream Report web portal by either selecting the Configure IIS option in the Runtime Management Console or by going to the Web Configuration option in the Dream Report Studio project settings and configuring it there. Now that the web portal is configured, I'll open my browser to the DR web portal. Let's click on the data entry form report, and when it opens, start entering data. I select a timestamp for my first sample, and then enter my manual samples. You'll notice that when I try to submit my results, it flags me that the pH is out of range and I need to correct it before that data will be saved. Let me add several more samples for different sample times. So where has all this manual data been stored? It gets stored in a table that's created in the database that's defined when you create a new Dream Report project. You'll notice that the data has been stored along with the sample timestamp, the timestamp when the data was actually recorded, and additional information or flags, such as if this was an original insert, a corrected value, a validated data point, etc. Since the data has been logged for us, we can now report on it like any other data in Dream Report. I'll return to Studio and quickly add an item table to my report to show the manual data. I'll set the time to be for the current day, but of course you could make this configurable with date and time selectors. We'll add another action button to the report to refresh the results after the data has been entered. OK, let's reload our report and return to the web portal. I'll open the data entry form again. And you can see the recorded data for today. I'll add another sample set and then refresh the table. And there you have a simple data entry form created in Dream Report.